Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system to do from the user NASA Ash in my Discord server so a massive thank you to them for um, sending this system in and also if you guys want to send in your own systems as well make sure to either join my Discord server link in the description or I'll post a link to it on the Steam Workshop in the comments but yeah please note that um, I may not see your comments so you may have to post them on multiple videos or um, remind me um, a couple of times because it is a lot easier to do it in the discord so that is definitely like the priority sort of um way i guess because the comments things do get lost um very easy there but with that all out the way guys yeah let's get into today's episode so this is 100 episode 115 now and yeah like i said we've got one system to do from the user nasa ash so let's get straight into the system they're prepared for us so it's called the electrus system so let's go ahead and uh, uh search this up so here we go right here we go let's see what they have got for us right Oh, okay, that's a lot of reading. All right, so there we go. All right, here we go. So my second ever system. So let's um, before we uh, read that. So okay, so we've got a decent amount of objects in here. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, and we've got labels switched on as well. Okay, so it looks like there's some. Is there, are those black holes? Okay, interesting. Wow. Okay, so this should be quite a big one. Okay, so my second ever solar system research file. Okay, so we'll just go through it once we get to all of the um, objects. We need to find that object first before we begin. But yeah, here is our main star. So if I um right click it that's how we open it there we go so there are its stats so as we can see um 3.4 luminosity of sun so it's a little bit larger brighter and all of that stuff um we can also check the um zone there see so yeah, there you go so pretty decent zone um on this guy there but yeah i think those are all black holes um i want to say but yeah there we go so moving on to the first object here right so here we go okay so is this a, is this one of the black holes zooming in okay okay it's a space probe okay so yeah there we go there and that's obviously very very close to the star indeed there so that's um the i think that was the was that's the sun space probe isn't it um here so there we go right moving out to the second one okay so this is it here so this is made from um golden iron has two moons um okay right so there it is oh that's, that looks really awesome actually wow the gold and the iron there all right so um albio right um golden iron has two moons formed by um by a planet venus size colliding and the fragments collided and formed the two moons a and b okay cool but yeah i really like the gold and iron sort of mix there so yeah there we go and then there are here are over here we've also got a um a space another space probe actually before we get to the moon so yeah there we go first space probe or second one sorry since we already saw that one then we've got the moons so we've got the first one here so there we go so that's also got some pretty interesting colors going down and then the second moon out here right so there we go reminds me of sedna a bit that one but yeah there we go so heading off right so the next one okay so has this one got any writing on it because it goes straight to oh no never mind so yeah we've got this one now okay so um okay yeah all right so we've got this one so yeah like venus it has a thick atmosphere looking very very nice indeed um it's a thick atmosphere and a hot surface this planet suffered from, from a herd of asteroids hitting the poor planet with lots of force and some of the asteroids um began to make a ring and all of the rocks collided one other to, or with one another to form its moon uh, to form its moon um so yeah there we go and then here is its moon over here so there we go i don't want to head to that planet again quickly but yeah there is the moon so that was formed from a bunch of rings and then there's also another space probe uh, by the looks of it there. And then the planet itself. Let's get a little look underneath that um, atmosphere. So there it is underneath. Oh, that is very exotic colored underneath. Wow, look at that. So we've got a red and sort of like lavender purple going on there. That's quite an interesting combo with the green, I have to say. So yeah, there we go there. So there is that one. So Manor Rao. Let's just go ahead and close that. Okay, so the next one is Curio. So over here. Right, here we are. So here it is. Okay, so this one's an ocean world by the looks of it. So, yeah, this ocean world contains intelligent creatures under the blue water. This planet also has suffered from many asteroids, and some of them didn't hit and orbited. Okay, so we've got some of these guys. Right, um, although the ones that did not hit caused fragments to fly out, some colliding with one another escaped into the outer system, or outer space. Okay, uh, the ones that collided together formed its moon. Okay, right, so the, this is the moon that it was formed here. So, Sorfield. I think so. Yeah. So that, but yeah, here it is. Here. So we can see it's like a very sort of um, what's the, what's the mint coloured green with some white and then some um, little areas of water as well there. But obviously the planet itself. Let's check these stats on this. Actually, I'm interested. So we've got 16 degrees, so pretty um healthy numbers there. And then down here we've got a Earth similarity of 90, but life likelihoods all the way down. I wonder why that is. Maybe maybe it's because there's too much water. I'm I'm not sure. 16 degrees. 
Rotation period is five days. Oh, I wonder why that is. What's the atmosphere pressure? Maybe maybe that's why. Uh, if it's too low, maybe that could be why. I'm interested to see why that's really low. Um, oh, oh, there's no atmosphere. Okay, that's why. I'm pretty sure if we gave it... So say we gave it like an atmosphere, it probably would um, fix that stat. But yeah, that's why it, That's why there's no life likelihood. Obviously, um, we wouldn't be able to live on an atmosphere without um, an atmosphere. But obviously, it could be life as we don't know it. Maybe it doesn't need an atmosphere. Maybe it just needs water. So um, who knows? Um, so yeah, there we go. So next up, we've got the Curiosity um, 1.0 probe over here. So there it is there. So another probe orbs in that. And then we also have another object down here, which is a smaller minor asteroid, as we can see. So yeah, there we are. Right, now heading off. And there's some, there's some more out here as well. So we'll quickly um, hover over those two. So there they are there. Oh, it's so cool what asteroids actually look like properly now. Look um, like actual asteroids. Right, okay, so there we go. So we've done those two. And right, next up, we are heading to this one. So I'm still interested to see what that 1,000 object count. There must be an object with rings in here um, at some point. But yeah, anyways, we've got the next one here. So this planet is made from three things, hydrogen, helium, and silica. The planet wasn't... Uh, or this planet wasn't as devoured as the other planets. In fact, its moon is here because of it zooming across the solar system until okay, until the gravitational field um, picked it up. So yeah, there we go. So there's the planet itself. So we've got a nice, like... Um, light orange band there we've got some uh, blue in the north and south as well we've got a bit of a whiter band there too but yeah there we go that's quite a nice um looking gas shine there so yeah there we go and then to the moon so this is a ocean um, object moon right there so it's almost like a melted version of europa uh, and then we have another probe out here as well so that's actually a voyager probe by the looks of it there but yeah there we go so there is this one but yeah really really nice um gas giant there right so there we go right now heading out to the next one over here so it doesn't look like, is there any writing? Okay, this one looks like it's completely skipped. Yeah, it goes straight to um, the Aspolan one. So so we'll see this MLO one here. So this one is a, another gas giant. As we can see, it's got two moons very, very close together there. Wow. If Unless, wait, maybe that's in, yeah, it is in orbit of that. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Goes two moons there. Planet itself. And then there is Voyager 3. Okay. Oh, cool. So we've got Voyager 3 there. Right. So there we go. Okay, so the next one over here, though, so this, um, as pollen, this planet has no moons, but has rings. So this is the one that has the, makes the object count go up. So there we go. So here are its rings. Um, has rings made from helium and iron. Or has no moons, but it has rings and is made from helium and iron, sorry. Um, its rings were formed by its gravitational pull, pulling asteroids and, and comets towards it, forming a ring around it. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So there is the ring. So that's picked up debris, comets, and stuff like that. So yeah, there we go there. And then obviously the gas giant itself, we've got some shades of blue, a bit of turquoise, and then a creamy sand colour um, in the bottom there. So there we go there. And then another spacecraft as well. So the spacecraft is going to be one around all the objects by the looks of it. So yeah, there we go there. Right, now we're taking a massive jump. So, okay, so... Okay, so these are these last two are both dwarf planets. Okay, they're dwarf planets, yeah. Um, they aren't actually planets. They're dwarf planets. They're both made from silica and iron with an icy surface because of how far these um, planets are. They are freezing cold. So yeah, there we go there. So how, how cold are we talking? So minus 102, so yeah, pretty, pretty chilly stuff. Zero um, seconds age, so they've never actually been played before. Um, so we've got also another probe over here, so that's in orbit. But I'm pretty sure that probably will get colder. I mean, we, we can probably click play and find out. So yes, let's do it, why not? So I'm guessing I'm guessing that will get um, a lot colder. Or maybe it'll warm up, who knows? But there's no atmosphere, so we can check its albedo. It, um, it looks like it absorbs all the light it receives. It doesn't reflect um, any light, so that should, in theory... Maybe it won't drop um, too much there, but yeah, there we go. So that's that one. And then the very last um, object of the day now is head all the way over here. So we've got this one. So ASIO. All right, here we go. And this one is a lone object as well. So here we go. So this one's a little colder, as we can see here. Very, very small at 234 um, radius. And yeah, there we go. That is all of the objects. So yeah, there we go. So let's um, zoom out. So that looks like the whole system. So yeah, there we go. Go back to the radius mode. Okay, so let's get a lineup of all the objects um, in here. So yeah, here we go. So obviously the largest one looks to be the this one. So this is this isn't the one with the rings. This one here's the one with the rings. But out of all the gas giants, I think the top one for me would probably be the orange one. I think that'd be the one I'd go for out of all the best. And I think for the Rockies, it's a hard choice between these two. It's either the green Venus or the um, gold and iron one. I do like that. Um, I think the color scheme looks pretty interesting there. So for me, it's one of these two. So they're two of the hotter objects. So yeah, there we go. And then the rest of the objects are all down here as well. So yeah, there we go there. Got quite a lot of red and white ones in here, as we can see. But yeah, top one for me 
It's, oh, it looks like there was a collision at MLO8. Okay, we're going to have to head back there in a new simulation. I want to see what that um, collision was. But, yeah, these two are the top for me there. But, yeah, before we end off, let's see what happened here. So let's go ahead and open this again. Okay, so we need to head to... Right, where are we? Right. So over here, okay. So there was a collision with something over here. So what, what happened? Oh, it was these two. So, okay, they are on a collision path. Right, so I'm guessing AB was the one that smashed into it. So let's um, click play. So something must happen here for the collision to happen. So hopefully we'll see it um, on camera here. So let's see. Right, so some speed up a little bit more. But it looks like, yeah, this the other one is flying. Yes, yeah, traveling a lot faster. As we can see, so no, it's actually, um, its orbit has been ruined. So now it's on a plummeting course into the um, other moon here. So, right, let's get this all slowed down and get a, um, a collision out of um, this as well. So let's turn all it off and we can get a good look at it. Click play and then watch the action unfold. So here we go. Slow it down. Get to look at all the um, explosion fragments. But yeah, here we go. So it's going in. As we can see, massive um, collision right there. That's going to create a lot of temperature on the surface of that moon. But yeah, there we go. So that is going all the way in. Tons of fragments created from that collision as well. We'll lock on to this one now. But yeah, there we go. So that is um, a pretty a pretty nasty explosion and end for that moon. So yeah, that moon no longer exists. There we go. I'm guessing that may warm up some of the water on here. I'm not sure how that all works with the surface grid stuff. May yeah, there we go. So we can see some of the... There is some um, liquid water there now. But yeah, there is still the um, ice patches on it as well. But yeah, there we go. Maybe if we speed it up, we'll see a bit more of it melt. But yeah, there we go. Did that hurt its orbit in any way? No, the orbit looks um, relatively fine. But yeah, there we go. So it created a massive frozen... Um, oh, no, created a massive liquid water lake there. But I'm guessing that will freeze up eventually. But yeah, there we go. So let's, um, let's also check its... Um... Yeah, there we go. So we can see the spike of where it was hit. So yeah, 540 degrees right now where that um, collision is. So that must be some pretty hot water right there. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that does it for um, the video today. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers as well. And also share this video as well. That would mean the world. It's absolutely amazing how far um, we have got now on the road to 13,000. That is absolutely insane. So a massive thank you again. And yeah, I, I, I really enjoy this, I have to say. It's so, so, so fun. And I'm glad you guys enjoy it as well. Um, I, I, think, um, I think we've done a lot of good. Um, of all these videos and yeah it's nice to show off everyone's video or everyone's systems in these videos as well so yeah yeah there we go so obviously like i said at the start of the video if you guys want to um send your own systems in make sure to follow the instructions i said by either let me know in the comments or joining my discord and uploading it there which is the easier option but yeah with that all out of the way guys make sure you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye